Okay guys, so here we go. We are gonna show you how we are gonna clean this Hein Gehrig leather jacket. Um, it's been in storage for quite some considerable time, so it's got a lot of dirt on it. It was put away dirty. It's also got damage on here as well. So um, we have obviously got fabric as well as leather. So we've got our hybrid fabric cleaner, as you can clearly see here, that we're gonna be using to obviously clean all these fabric parts that you can see on the item. Um, all these sort of areas here um, are all sort of fabric along here, this sort of dark shadowing area. And you can sort of see, you know, how bad, you know, the, the dirt and dust is on these. You know, it, it is pretty ingrained on those, to be fair. So we've obviously got to clean all this up and get rid of all that sort of dirt and grime that's on this fabric as well to make that nice again. Um, we're obviously going to use LRC1 leather cleaner to clean all of the leather. Um, and once we've got all the leather cleaned, we would then obviously go over it with the protection cream to give it some food and to help keep it soft and supple and to give it that protection so that it's easy just to get rid of dirt and grime on the surface from driving obviously in warm weathers and wet weathers. Um, it's obviously with this going on that's going to help to waterproof the jacket as well, which doesn't normally happen because normally these sort of things are like sort of shower proof, but this gives you like a waterproof protection on there as well. So that's going to be really, really good. And the thing is it makes sort of removal of things like flies and uh, bug splatter very, very simple. You can just sort of like flick them off and it's gone. So obviously we're going to be using the um, Brucal brush um, for doing that um, today, the Maxi Brucal brush. And we will be applying with the LRC foam applicator pad. And we're just going to be using some terry toweling to obviously clean things down and stuff like that. But you can sort of see the, the ingrained dirt that we've got on here on, on, on the leather is, you know, where this sort of section here hasn't got so much dirt on it and where the, it's where the client that had a go and sort of gave up thinking, Christ, this is hard work. Um, some of this, though, could be damage. So we've just got to be careful as we're going through cleaning, but you can see all the ingrained, you know, how it's all ingrained in here. And you can sort of see where this is a bit cleaner and this is really ingrained dirt on it. Um, and again, same with this side here. You can sort of see how this is definitely damaged. So we definitely know there's colour loss here. Um, so we've obviously got to be careful how we clean all those areas, but we're just going to go through and show you what we're going to do there with doing those. And we're going to sort of start by cleaning this sort of front section here so that hopefully you can see the difference. So obviously LRC1, first of all, we're just going to simply spray on to the area. Um, they've got like a little thing here, that, this little gadget here that you can sort of see. This is normally in the center, as you can see here on the camera, and you need to flick this, pull it to one side, so it's round here on the side. That will enable the trigger to open. In that position, the trigger is closed. So pull to one side, either left or right, it doesn't matter. Then the trigger, as you can see, opens. So simply spray on your LRC1 leather cleaner. It doesn't matter if that gets onto the fabric areas, it's not going to affect the fabric on this motorcycle jacket at all um, just simply spray it on and then just very very lightly agitate that into the surface we're not going to we don't need to give this a really huge sort of scrub at this stage we're just trying to sort of get the leather cleaner solution worked into the actual grain of this jacket so that we can lift away dirt and grime and brighten this the white that we got on the surface here so we're not really pressing hard on there. All we're trying to do is to get the, you know, to get the cleaner into the dirt and grime. You can see it sort of foaming up as well, which is exactly what we need it to do. Honestly, if, if videos, you could smell a video, this is outstanding, the leather aroma on here. Oh my God, it, it literally is like having a brand spanking new leather skin in your hands. It's just, dare I say it, delicious. It's awesome. So you can see that's nicely foaming up. You can now start to scrub slightly harder um, and a bit more rigorously. You don't need to scrub very, very hard with these things, obviously. But I can already see an amazing transformation taking place here. The white section is coming up an absolute treat compared to this side here. The silver's looking better as well, which is absolutely brilliant. And obviously around here, you've got the fabric for the embroidery work. Cleaning that with LRC1 will help brighten that fabric and clean that as well. So it's serving as a double purpose, really, which is really cool. But you can see that's nicely firm. You can see the dirt there. It's um, certainly got quite a fair bit of dirt. And we'll be able to see the difference once we you know, remove all that, you know, with the terry toweling. As you can sort of see, nice white terry toweling. And hopefully we'll get quite a good bit of dirt coming off there. Yeah, oh my God, look at that, that is absolutely disgusting. So yeah, that's obviously what you get with years of storage. 
and years of um, dirt and grime from driving in the you know British and European weather systems that we have with guys out on their bikes but that really does tell a tale doesn't it look at that that's LRC1 on there that's the amazing difference hopefully you can sort of see the differences between those two between you know this side and this side here and which will obviously be your right and your, your left on this side so this is obviously my right and my left so this would be your right and your left hopefully the camera can see the differences there to me in person it looks truly outstanding it really does so obviously you just need to proceed by cleaning all of this all the way around so let, let us try to sort of have a go at this sort of section just here so that we can sort of see what we're doing there and then we're going to sort of show you some fabric cleaning this will work this is like a plastic um, like a sort of semi-rigid sort of plastic so it's going to work really well on those as well it's going to help sort of clean those up and brighten them and stuff like that but we do have like a vinyl cleaner that will you can rub around these as well if you wanted to which will really help those um you know clean those up the beauty with all of our products from lrc as we're an iso 14001 accredited company and um, we obviously have to take care of our carbon footprint and watch what we do as a global company to ensure that what we ship around the world and goes into the consumer's hands is eco green and environmentally friendly all of our products are water-based they're natural products they're eco-friendly and it helps to reduce our carbon footprint so you know what you're putting on your leather item is natural and it's not going to harm it in any way shape or form but the transformation let's just get to another piece of clean cloth again as you can see and just wipe that over look at the dirt coming off there it's absolutely staggering and look how much brighter that looks now compared to what it did look just a second ago even this hard plastic that says Hein Gehrig I mean look at it this is just phenomenal look at the difference here even this has come up brighter it's absolutely corking bang on so yeah can't go wrong there at all you can sort of see the differences there now between these sort of two areas dirty and clean so we're just going to clean that particular section there now clean that up and then we're going to start to do some of the fabric and I'm going to show you what to do with the fabric so just give it a real good scrub again and then we're going to clean up the fabric after this and we're going to show you how to do that we don't have a vacuum cleaner with us for this but you can use a vacuum cleaner as well if you wanted when you're doing the fabric it's the same sort of fabric you'd use whether it's on fabric in the home on a couch or a chair or fabric car seats or carpet or anything like that it's the same you know fabric cleaner that you would use um, you know is this one it's the same product that you'd use on items like that as well it's an ultra safe product to use on all of those areas you know whether it's car seats carpets couches chairs at home it'll work on all of them you know things like fabric linings on handbags and stuff like that it'll work a treat obviously you've just got to make sure that you don't over wet your fabric item in things like handbags and things so it doesn't soak through to your leather um because obviously you've got to make sure that when you're cleaning things like handbags that you um, don't leave sort of like tide mark areas on them which can just obviously cause unnecessary sort of staining where it's dried incorrectly so you wouldn't ever force dry leather either you would let it dry naturally look at the dirt coming off again look at that brilliant fantastic absolutely brilliant it looks amazing compared to this other side here you know it looks absolutely amazing looks fantastic look at the two arms I mean that is such a picture look at those two arms there that one there really nice and bright this one here absolutely minging look at the difference fantastic even these sort of even the, the sort of text on here look at the text on here even this is just look at the difference between the two you can read this and this is like all obscured and dirty so unbelievable so let's have a look now um, at the fabric so we've got to twist this around slightly so that we can see what we're doing um, let's do this side here and hopefully the cameras can sort of see all of this bit of a funny position to get it in because I've still got all the arm pads in here normally I take these out so we can sort of deal with this better but so again um, little trigger here this little teeth thing here just move to left or right so that you can obviously open the spray um, and what we're going to do with this rather than spray it directly onto the cloth onto the fabric I'm just going to wipe some onto the cloth spray some onto the cloth first of all and I'm just going to wipe that over the surface to try to remove some of the dirt and dust that's on there because what I don't want to do is to spray it on and then scrub it with a brush and scrub some of that dirt in so we're just going to gent gently wipe this over the surface to remove some of the 
dirt and grime so that we can then proceed to get that cleaned up. We can then spray some on there and do it that way. And you're gonna see the amount of dirt and grime that's come off there. <coughs> it's amazing, isn't it? The amount of dirt and grime that's coming off. So again, simply spray on, and then you'd obviously have to let this dry naturally. We can then obviously rub this in. You don't need to scrub very, very hard. This is gonna clean the fabric, brighten the fabric, and then you can waterproof that if you wanted to as well. So you've got like a waterproof fabric, because we do have a waterproofer that will enable you to waterproof the, the fabric. So lightly go over it and just agitate it with a brush all the way over so that it's cleaned up. And then you can wipe away any excess with the cloth, wipe away the dirt and grime. And as I say, you can if you wanted to with the vacuum, just hoover that off with the vacuum. So let's just wipe that down again, see what sort of dirt and grime we're getting off there again. And again, we're still getting loads of dirt and grime coming off the fabric there. And this is how you're gonna to proceed to clean this whole leather jacket all the way through. There's nothing you know, rigorous or ingenious about doing it. It's just a matter of a process, going through doing the whole process and cleaning it up. I'm gonna to proceed to clean up this particular dirty side here because you can see this is really, really bad on this side. So let's get this side cleaned up. Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna apply the protection cream. Again, there's nothing rocket science about applying the protection cream. It's a matter of, uh, you know, of applying the cream and allowing it to dry naturally. Obviously what we would do, we're gonna apply the protection cream now, but what we'd normally do is allow the um, item to dry for a period of time. But we're just gonna show you how it goes on there for this particular item. This isn't actually a customer's item, this is actually a jacket that we bought in to carry out this demo for you so that you can understand how to clean, you know, motorcycle clothing and jackets. So just keep scrubbing over the surface so that you can get that cleaned up. And again, give it a good scrub where the embroidery is and we can get all that cleaned up there as well certainly got some dirt and grime on here and it's going to look absolutely amazing again at this side once it's all cleaned up. It's going to lift away all the dirt and grime from within the white areas. Obviously it's great having all this detail work on the jacket but when they do start to get dirty and grubby, especially the white, it really makes the whole jacket look poor and you know and horrible and just, I don't know, it just makes it look very old and worn out and tired. But it, you know, you really can, you know, as, as our, one of our famous sayings we've had for many, many years, putting life back into leather, that's exactly what we do. And, you know, we're very, very good at doing that, putting life back into leather. But just look at the dirt again. That is amazing. But look how much brighter that now looks. So we'll give that a second go over. And we can, um, I mean, already I can see an amazing, amazing difference on the um, surface here. Again, you've got this nice sort of foaming action, as you can clearly see. You can see it really foaming up really, really well. What you will find with um, leather cleaners is, if something is excessively dirty, like it was first time round, the item didn't foam as good as what it should do. That's purely and simply because of the dirt and grime is actually killing the foam. Um, once you've got that initial dirt and grime removed, and you then need to start the deep cleaning process, you, you, you're then gonna get your foam appearing and it's gonna start working its magic. And you know, you can go over it and just keep brushing it up and it'll just keep foaming as you can clearly see. And it's working really, really well. So let's just give that a wipe off again. And then we're gonna put on some protection cream once we've done this. But this is just exactly how you would clean your motorcycle clothing, whether it's a one-piece suit um, or a two-piece suit. This is a two-piece suit. But the difference on there, I think, compared to when we started is absolutely staggering. Just look how much better and brighter that looks. I mean, I think this says it all, doesn't it? You know, just, just look at that. That there compared to this. Mind-blowing. Absolutely staggering. You know, the absolute difference. It's, just look at the difference. It's mind-blowing. So, there you go. Um, so, I'm going to put some protection cream on here now. Um, LRC4, leather protection cream, got built-in intelligent protection system, so when it starts to get wet, it has this molecule system that opens up to protect your leathers, um, you know, to protect it no matter what it's on, car seats, classic cars, modern cars or whatever, um, or sofas, it will protect anything and it will protect all your, you know, motorcycle clothing or fashion leather jackets and stuff like that. Um, 
And again, with this, it's just a matter of a simple process. It's got built-in leather aroma, so it's gonna make the item smell really, really cool. Um, so what you don't wanna go doing when you're applying protection creams, um, the last thing you wanna go doing is dolloping that on there. So we always spread it into our pad, like so, and then very, very gently wipe over the surface. You don't need to put like great big, huge dollops of this stuff on. Um, it's a matter of getting it on there first. It's not gonna harm going over here. It's gonna give it a little bit of a waterproof protection. So just simply, wiping that over the whole surface. You can speed that up with a hairdryer if you felt like you wanted to do that, um, to dry the protection cream. And that's gonna give you a really nice, smooth coating on here that's gonna give you that, it's gonna stop dirt and grime getting into the grain of the leather. It's gonna give you that waterproof protection as well. And it, it, you know, it's just gonna make it feel soft and supple. So you can put on a good couple of sort of coatings um, you know, on the surface um, of the leather again put it into the sponge, you don't want to dollop it on, especially if you've got a, a leather that's a perforated leather, and by that what we mean is it's got like small holes in, so it's got like what we call perforations to the leather. And obviously if you're just gonna put this on with a huge dollop, that is obviously gonna fill all those perforations up, but get this in, you know, and this is gonna really give it some really good protection, and it's gonna make it feel soft and supple. Mmm, that aroma, beautiful. So that is how you are gonna clean your motorcycle clothing, leathers, uh, whether it's a one-piece suit, jacket, trousers, or no matter what it is, or even boots, um, this is how you're gonna protect them, even your gloves. So we have used, obviously, today LRC4 to obviously protect. We've used LRC1 to clean all the leather work. We've used, obviously, LRC29 to clean all of the fabric. We've obviously used the LRC foam pad and our LRC Maxi Brucal brush and obviously just terry toweling, um, which you can either buy the terry towels from our website or you can get our eco-friendly bamboo fiber towels, which are obviously you know completely biodegradable. Um, as I say, biodegradable, but they're like um, eco-friendly biodegradable products um, because they're completely natural. Um, you know they're absolutely fantastic. Again, you know we, when we ever get products like that, we ensure that things like our bamboo things, you know, before we deal with a company, we ensure that they are sourced from a sustainable um, area. Um, we've got them from the equivalent of what is an FSC organisation in the UK um, over in China, and you know they're made there, and obviously they're antimicrobial as well. So I mean it's it's actually fantastic. The same with our you know with our bamboo fibre applicator pads or biodegradable, including the packaging or the plastic, the cardboard, put it in your compost pot and it'll mulch away. Brilliant invention, brilliant idea. Again, it's LRC, ISO, um, you know, 14,001, looking after our carbon footprint. So if you wanted to buy these products, um, LRC1, LRC4, and LRC29, Maxi Brucal Brush, LRC Applicator Pad, hop on over to the website, leatherrepaircompany.com. You can buy all these from online, use the search bar at the top and put in either of those reference numbers and it'll find those products, add them to your cart, check out and we will get them dispatched to you straight away. Um, anything you need to know about leather on motorcycle clothing or fashion leather items, please let us know. We're here to help and we're more than happy to answer any questions that you have. We will be doing some more of these videos because we're gonna be doing some more about cleaning leathers and some more about repairing leathers and recoloring these sort of things as well. So please keep checking out, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our videos and place comments below how you think we could do better for you or what type of videos you want us to produce for you. You know, we are here for you. Also hop on over to Trustpilot and give us a review if you use our products and like us. Thank you guys, have a great day. Much appreciated.